what's cracking, what's cracking? Story time with Mack Truck. Uh, this story has something to do about when um, the first and only time somebody took one of my uh, Super Sport Money Carlos. I had an uh, 87, no, an 88 Super Sport Money Carlo. I was uh, restoring it from the ground up and I sent it to a poultry shop after they left the paint shop, right? So I did it a, a what was it, a, a snow white, it was a snow white with black leather interior, red stitching, suede headliner. It had a um, moon roof in it and it came original with the uh, moon roof, which was ironic to me. And um, no, it was a T-top. I'm lying, my, my, my luxury sport, that one was a moon roof. No, my white luxury sport was T-top and then the white super sport was moon roof. Okay, yeah, so it had a white moon in it, right? That's a sunroof. For those of you that don't know that term, moon roof. So it had a moon roof in it, right? So I had the suede headliner and everything. So the guy, he was doing the interior, you know, he did the interior in that, and he did the interior in my 62 Impala. My 62 Impala, I did the interior gray leather with gray ostrich um, outserts on it and everything. So, when it came time for me to pick up my interior for my uh, 62 Impala, it was done, but it wasn't all the way right. Right? Correct. So, I gave that a little more time, which now that I'm thinking about it, I never got that interior for that car. Now, my SS, Super Sport Money Carlo, so I guess the dude, he figured out, once he found out I was a stripper, like everybody think all strippers are busters, homosexuals and stuff like that. So, dude took it upon himself and took my car from me. What I mean by took my car from me, he took my car and sold it to somebody else, put the lien on it and sold it to somebody else. I get back into town, cause I was out of town during this particular time. I get back in town and the little homies tell me like, you know, whoop de whoop sold your car. I said, huh? Nah, so I, I bust down, go to his shop. He closed his shop down. He moved to another shop. Keep in mind, I don't know where this shop is at. So I'm banging his line. He's not answering. Um, so about two weeks go by. I left him a message. I said, hey, I'm going to find you within a day or so. And when I find you, you better have my car. When I left that message, I found him because other dudes in the city was getting a lowriders interior done from them and everything keep in mind i'm young hothead at this time so i'm asking folks hey where on whoop de whoop shop at where whoop de whoop shop at they already knew what he did he like oh i don't want to get in the middle of that i say all right so i call another call another dude and this particular dude I called, we was childhood friends. He tells me the same thing. I said, all right, I'll tell you what. Whatever I was going to do to do, I'm about to come do to you. Like, oh, Wes, man, like that, man. Like, you already know how I move. I'm about to do everything I was going to do to him to you. All right, well, look, I'm just saying, this is what he gave me the rundown. It's broad daylight, a random, like, Tuesday, Wednesday. I banged one of my cousin lines. I'm like, hey, I need you to run with me. I found the dude whereabouts that took my car. He like, all right. He like, you got your blower? I said, nah, I got a quota on me. Like, you got you got something on you? He said, man, I can't even get to him. So he had a little bitty 32 or something on him too. Like, forget it. So I hit one of the little homies to drive us. The little homie, give him the scoop. He drive us, we go to the location, the first location dude gave me, which was bull crap, he lied about it. So I'm like, all right, cuz playing games. So then, so then um, 
when we get to this spot, it's some uh, big old tongue and some more, no, big old some more out there. And I uh, ask him, like, hey, where whoop de whoop at? He like, oh, his shop ain't over here. He moved it, whoop de whoop this and that. So he gave me the exact location, which wasn't too far from there. I said, perfect. When I got to that joint, thought he seen a ghost to be continued.